Hey tennis players, this is Jeff Lewis. Thanks for tuning in again. If this is not your first time here, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Um, today's a Daniil Medvedev forehand analysis video. Is it really that unorthodox? Um, first off, thanks to Slow Mo Tennis Pro for allowing me to use this footage. I'm gonna link down in the description their channel, so please go check them out and give them a subscribe. Um, congrats, Daniil Medvedev, for winning the U.S. Open. A huge match. Um, just too much for Djokovic, who didn't have enough in the tank. He's uh, been winning a lot and playing a lot of tennis, a lot of high-level tennis, and I feel like Daniil was a little fresher today. But um, let's take a look at Daniil's forehand here. And again, we're going to see, is it that unorthodox, or is it? Uh, does he do this? a lot of the same things all the pros do? And I think you'll find that, you know... He, he is an unorthodox person as far as uh, his body structure. He's pretty gangly and lanky, and I think that gives him a certain look about him. He's also very talented and relaxed and loose and is able to make things happen from awkward situations. But fundament fundamentally, as, as we've seen many times, <clears throat> he prepares with his racket up high, um, which is good. Um, it keeps the racket and body together, allows the, the racket and body to stay in sync while moving. Um, gets good body coil. You can see separation here from his knees to his hips to his shoulders. And that's that and ground reaction force are always going to be how you generate force. And we see that from all players. Um, another thing we see is <clears throat> the racket drop uh, in what is called the slot position. Um, here we'll look at it a little slower here. But uh, the slot position is where the racket's slightly hooded down towards the ground. Um, the arm is slightly bent, and then that's going to allow him to swing fast and away from his body. He is hitting up to this ball. Now he's taking it on the rise, and he's hitting a very flat ball, but his swing path, believe it, is traveling up. And the ball's traveling up too, so he's going to get a little bit of help from that. But yeah, you got to get below the ball with the hooded racket face. We love those eyes down at contact so long after the ball is gone. And notice how also he has that safety zone where his strings, his, his string, his swing path is definitely going from inside out away from his body before he relaxes around. And uh, yeah, he does a good job as we see that left side tucking in there. Remember, you got to at some point stop the left side of this body, pull that arm in, and that's going to make the right side go faster. And again, there's that kind of just really loose guy. Um, I think that's something that makes him great, though, and uh, he definitely lets his body go a little limp at hit, so that could be considered unorthodox, I think. I'd say his backswing's also a little bigger than most guys on tour. He seems to get more power from momentum and less power from that stretch uh, shortening cycle that we see so much, where uh, guys are just keeping their swing ultra short, and I think that's why, um, in the end, you really see him finish a lot higher over his shoulder than most guys um, consistently because he's just not getting as much pre-stretch with that forearm and wrist so it's not as much movement on the follow-through because whenever you do that stretch shortening cycle you're gonna have more movement after the hit um, yeah not that unorthodox I think other than just having a, a little bit larger backswing um, he's gonna do a lot of the same things I think that was going to prevent him, prevent us from ever seeing Daniil be someone that really wants to stay close to the baseline, though, because that swing takes a little long to execute. So he'd have to change a motor program to, to be a, a guy that takes the ball earlier. But I guess uh, last night at the U.S. Open, he proved that he doesn't have to do that, and he's going to win his way. So congrats again, Daniil Medvedev, and I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Again, please like, subscribe, and share.